Hello folks, so today we are going to be talking about our CSC project which is a uh, Moody Diagram Calculator. So uh, basically for those of you who have not dealt with the Moody Diagram before, the Moody Diagram is a uh, chart that is used in fluid dynamics in order to find the uh, friction factor for internal pipe flow. Uh, this diagram, although useful, is a little bit cumbersome to use as it is a uh, three-dimensional diagram represented on a uh, two-dimensional um, chart. And um, what I mean by that is that there are uh, three dimensions. There's the Reynolds number on the bottom here. There's the relative roughness on the right axis here. And then on the left axis is your friction factor, and that's what you're solving for. So how it works is you find your Reynolds number by calculating that using this little formula here at the bottom then once you find that you look on the bottom of this chart here in order to find what zone you're in of the uh, Moody diagram you follow it up to the uh, transition region line one of these black lines that meets your relative roughness um, uh, number and then from there wherever they intersect you read to the left to find your friction factor so this is a little bit cumbersome. We decided to make it a little bit more simple with our Moody chart uh, calculator. So um, this is the code behind our project right here. Uh, this whole code right here. And um, why it's so long is because we use it, we decided to use a uh, GUI or a graphical user interface for our pro program. So if we hit the run button right here, we can see what that is. It looks like a little app here, and it's basically a MATLAB version of a, an app or a widget. Um, but what this does is um, these little edit tabs here, where you can enter in whatever numbers you have. Each of these edit tabs have their own callback within the code here. So, for example, let me see. I think I have velocity as the first one. So this function... Uh, interacts with the edit tab here in our uh, graphical user interface. So as you enter a number here, it goes back to this callback function, and uh, as you can see in this code here, it converts the string in the um, velocity callback into a number, and then uh, sets that to the variable VEL. Um, once that is done, this uh, set app data command just uh, saves this uh, variable VEL to the app so that you can use it in future functions. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't be able to be kind of communicated within the app. So there's four of those um, four of those callback functions that are the same for uh, density, for viscosity, and for diameter. Uh, the next interesting little quirk that we run into is the uh, push button that calculates Reynolds number. Uh, because our calculator has two separate parts, this Reynolds number calculator, which is necessary for friction factor, um, calculates Reynolds number here. So when you push this button, it takes the data that is entered in these four um, edit tabs here, and it puts it into this formula here. This get a app data command gets the data from uh, above, from the functions above, puts it into this formula here, and then after that we have um, the Reynolds number, and then it's just a simple matter of converting and setting the handle for um, the Reynolds number edit tab to be the string for the Reynolds number in the calculation here. We also set the app data to be that Reynolds number as well, so that we can use it in the friction factor. Uh, factor calculation. Uh, the next part of code we have is this uh, materials drop down selection. So it uses a um, something similar to an if else statement with this uh, case statement. So uh, basically, if the drop down menu has the string uh, cast iron, say right here, if the case is that the string is cast iron, then it sets the um, the variable POP to whatever numerical value you want. In this case, 0 0.0026. And then it saves that to the app data, similar to above. 
After that, we have the um, POP um, data that we need, and we go down to the final push button, which takes in the necessary um, app data of the uh, POP, the diameter, and the Reynolds number, and then has an if-else statement for um, calculating the friction factor, because friction factor if it is um, if the Reynolds number is below 2100, we have one equation. But if it's above 2100, you use this equation right here. It's more of a fluids problem than it is a CSE problem. So I'll leave the particulars of that behind. But once you calculate friction factor, it's just a matter of setting that um, string in the edit tab here to be uh, the same as the calculation for the friction factor. So with that, uh, we'll kind of go into the particulars of our uh, graphical user interface. So the big thing on using our graphical user interface is you first need to find your Reynolds uh, number using our Reynolds number calculator. You need to make sure that you're using uh, metric units in order to calculate everything. And then uh, first you calculate Reynolds, and then after that you can calculate the friction factor once you choose your value. So for our problem, we have one from our fluid dynamics book, which uh, has a, um, a half diameter concrete pipe with 80 degree uh, Celsius water traveling at a speed of 15 meters per second. And we're asked to find the Reynolds number and the friction factor for this pipe. So with the velocity being at 15 meters per second, density is going to be 972 kilograms per meter cubed, diameter is a half meter, and then viscosity is going to be 0 0.000352, and that's in newtons times seconds over meters squared. So the Reynolds number is quite high, it's around uh, 20 million here, and so now that we have Reynolds number, we're going to be using concrete, so that's already pre-chosen and calculating the friction factor gives us 0 0.0284 and that is within one ten thousandth of the actual calculation with the um, with the Moody chart. So the um, that's how you use our app that is the um, information behind how we coded our app and uh, we hope you folks like it. That is all we got for you.